It's just weird, isn't it? That one's a little better. <clears throat> How you doing, crap? We're playing Beyond Good and Evil. We're playing, unless you're blind, <clears throat> five days is a good start. Go outside and touch some earth. <coughs> I'll go running soon. It's uh, it's getting warm outside, so I'll be running soon. Unwell. Physically or mentally? <clears throat> the longer you can avoid people, the better. I mean, it's exactly, that's exactly it. Both, dang. Hello, giant. <clears throat> Sorry to hear that, crab. If you want to talk about it, you should. We are in the ancient mine. We could buy heels. I have three. That should be plenty, probably. Oh, and I got one full heel as well. Okay. This is beyond good and evil. It's adorable. Open your eyes. The alpha sections are the accomplices of the Doms. Join the Iris Network. Hmm. There's, uh, there's stuff going on here. Wait, do I need to... No, that's the save point. Okay. We remember how to play the game. Yes. <clears throat> that's a no-go. What? Hmm, nothing. Let's go. Step aside, little lady. Yeah. <laughs> the Midas touch. No mercy for grids. Where'd we see the other one that looked like this? The other what that looked like what? <laughs> I think I came from up there. I think I'm going this way. Well, I'm definitely going this way. Of the chocolate covered squid with kiwi sauce that my Aunt Geneva used to make. Oh, that sounds good. What the fuck is that? Helix Rupestris. Congratulations. Information on giant snails are difficult to come by. Oh, Gabd. Oh, well, that's cool. It doesn't tell me where to go, though. Alright, I have a map right here. Hmm, okay. So, uh, am I on that side of the wall or that side of the wall? Looks like, yeah, okay. So, the white parts are the parts I've been to. So, yeah, we just need to go back and go the other way now. That away? Yeah, now that he has the bolt cutters or whatever the fuck. We can probably go another way. Hi, Dad Rib. Seems like an amazing game, really. Very comfy, you know? Oi! I can't charge it up. I want to charge it up. Already taken. 
Huh. Oh, I don't think I went down here, did I? Or that's where I just came from. Right? Am I lost? No. Shut up. Yeah, that's that's where I yeah. I know check. Uh yes. It is great and I do enjoy it. Don't worry. <clears throat> it reminds me of the comfy feels of Dragon Quest. Got it. Yeah, we are going this way. Get out of here. Yeah, and this is the HD version on Xbox 360, and the the water reflections look absolutely amazing. I have been here before. But yeah. We just need to figure out where else we can go here. There. Uh, that's not good. I think we can go here now. No problem. Get him. H pretty good. It's probably my third favorite though. Did I, my sound effect even work? I don't. I can't. I don't even hear them. You know. You son of a biscuit. Psh. Five is better for sure, and three. I think three is probably better too. What is that? The fuck is that? Get out Account identification. Okay. Uh, PA one increases your energy gauge by one heart. Absolutely. Alrighty. I stock it. Absolutely. I'll take one. Now I have four. That's fine. Mm -hmm. I like the hint system in this game. You don't go to the menu and click on give me hint. You don't go to the internet and say, Google, tell me what to do. You talk to your pig friend. Okay, well, that's good. Don't, oh, don't fall on me. Help me out, Jade. I don't know. Page isn't coming with me. That's his name, right? Page, Peg. Hey, Jade, stick together, Cramony. What? Don't worry, I'm right here. Nothing will happen to you. <coughs> you mind your p's and q's, little miss. Respect your elders. My elders, no. Well, I uh, made another level today. And uh, tomorrow we'll be, uh, we'll play through World 7. I gotta make one more level. I make one level tomorrow and, uh, yeah, World 7 dot. I need Pigman over here. I can't do this without Pigman. Hmm. We need, oh, 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 oh. Pig man. I need you up here, buddy. I can't do none of this stuff without him. I can push this though, right? Yeah, I can. And I can't, wait, can I make this thing go up? No, I need him to do that, right? No. 
Maybe? Yeah, I need him. Go get him, girl. Oh. Okay. We can do it from here. Now. Hippity hop and rock and roll music. Smoking them tweeds and things. Stop it. Did I just hit him? <laughs> All my treasure's falling over the side. Come over here. Friendly fire. Chewing tobacco and chasing woman's. Hi, Bash. Let's get mm -hmm. a move on. I got a feeling the best is to come. That's that's what I do. Being from Texas and all. Is there anything else up here? I don't think so. Let's go. Okay. Hammer time. Hammer time. You gotta open it for me, Jade. All right. I'll think about it. Graham. <laughs> okay. Go. Let's do it. I do that. What the fuck was that? Come on. Oh my god, where is it? I can't see it. Wait, wait, shit, shit, shit. Okay, can, can you get out of the way, dude? Bruising, oh, Planaria Robusters. Planaires detest the light. It's rare that they come out of their lair. Well, that's like a secret or something. I get a pearl when I send them one more. Sweet. All right, I did these stupid flies. Let's go. The main shaft. What are you doing? <laughs> what the fuck is that? You want light or wheat toast with your omelet, Miss Grace of an Ox? Incredible. There are still polymerases in the region. Do I get a pearl? Okay, your roll of film is finished. Yeah. Good. I'll transfer a pearl to you, Jade. Cat's been annoying today. And I'll recharge your film. <sighs> It'll be here soon. 
I need this pearl. I know where it is. Well, maybe. Maybe not. Hmm. A bit of the Flanaria. Where'd that big fella go? Get Super action! Oh god, I hit him. Players came equipped with the club option. Model D53, my little lady. Slices, <laughs> dices, <laughs> and pounds. Slices, dices, and pounds, just like your mama. Full heels. <clears throat> hmm. How about over there? Huh. It's a save. What are you looking at? I don't know where that big stupid fella went. I saw him floating around. I gotta take pictures of everything. <clears throat> Morning, get it. I mean, uh, hi, Remy. <laughs> Thanks for the raid. You're playing this amazing game. What do you mean, new friend? I haven't taken pictures of him yet? Yeah. I'm a princess. What's up, Remy? Bubbles! Out of the way, Paige. If that is your name. I think that's your name. Y'all can't tell me I missed that one. <clears throat> I love that you can't fall off in this game, right? Watch her fall off right that moment, just splat. Ah, like fucking Batman. Just a top-down view, just spread eagle. Ah, just fucking all the way down. <clears throat> nine, 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 nine a month for Mortis. <laughs> I hate Mortis. I am just a fish. Just a sexy furry fish. No means no, Rocket. <laughs> if y'all haven't voted on the C is for cat poll, you should. It, uh, it has some good games on it. And people are voting for good games this time. There's barely any votes for Catwoman. Which is, you know, one of the worst video games ever made. Hey, Jade, look. The two creatures back there. Where? Whoa! My camera, I wish my camera would go towards... Coming in loud and clear, Miss Jade. And remember, I would like to have the male and female Tirolimax in the same picture. I think that's what that was, right? Now I have to have them both pop up?
Splendid. I'll send it to Mr. De Castellac. Uh oh. That's many. Pay up. Give unto Caesar what is Caesar's. There's a prior world record holder in four commando games. Did you lose all of them? Got him. Tirolimax. It's one of the Dom's creatures. Three thousand dollars. You have two still because nobody's tried. Uh. Oh god. Oh shit. Okay. Word. All right, that's how we gotta do it. Well, now we got jellies. Got our jellies. Get them. Jimmy. 81 is insane. <laughs> Not bad for a little girl and an old hand. <laughs> well, we did it, Paige. Well, I keep it on 74 usually. Sometimes 75. Like if I'm, when I wake up and I work out, I put it on 75, but I need it on 74. <sighs> or else I'm sitting here sweating. Well, it's gonna run constantly this summer, but I have a, uh, I have a power plan uh, electricity plan where I get half off in the three summer months. So, uh, yeah. We're going to run that bitch all summer long. I don't know how y'all could do it. 
Well, mine's like, I don't know, 50% more than last year. It's gone up. It sucks. And uh, bye, Bash, who left probably four minutes ago. No, you didn't? Okay, go, go work on the car. <clears throat> I'll be around for a while. I need to stay up today. OAC, brother. Yeah, well, you didn't live in Texas with no AC. Me, fishy about you wouldn't be alive. Also, I live on the second floor, so it's sweatier. Congratulations, Miss Jade. You have. Hold it. I got a bone to pick with your boss. Mr. De Castellac never really existed. I think I owe you some explanations, Miss Jade. <laughs> okay, what the fuck? Pop in. What? It's not a real limo? It was a taxi in disguise? Miss Jade, you have brilliantly succeeded your situation test. Situation test? Yes. Please well, I mean, trade. it's just. My name is Han. I'm a member of the Iris Network. It blows my mind when people say I have no AC, right? Because literally every single person in Texas has AC. There is no one who doesn't have AC, unless they're just like homeless. They capture 10 people for Or they have their electricity cut off because the they can't pay their electric bill. I don't know. Every single house, every single apartment, every single business has AC. They suck the lifeblood out of our planet exactly So if you say you lived your most of your life with no AC, that means it ain't as hot as Texas. But we can stop the alpha section. It ain't possible. How exactly do you propose we do that? <laughs> they are completely aware that an uprising of the population would spell catastrophe. Apartment complex Bring won't allow portable AC. And victory will be ours. Weird. More than ever, Jade, the Iris network. I should be paying attention to this story. Help us fight the good fight. If you decide to join us, rendezvous at the Akuda Bar. Ask for peepers. Peepers. They are free to choose your side, Jade. Did you say peepers? Mm-hmm. At the Akuda Bar. Be sure to remember the password. Safe and sound in its shell, the precious pearl is the slave of the curtains. <clears throat> Security measure? Discretion is the key. Oh, by the way, I almost forgot your reward. If I had no AC, my apartment would probably get up to about 110, about 43C. So, just what does Miss Jade think about all this hoop nanny? And people would die. If you there's know. a way to stop this war, we can't let it pass us by. <clears throat> right, so basically, uh, the world is run by a corporation. Uh, and Iris is like the underground resistance. Let's go see just exactly what's behind all this. At first, it seemed like it was wasn't going to be so cut and dry, but it does seem like it is uh, pretty obviously the good guys of the resistance. <clears throat> It seemed like it was going to be more of a mystery at first, but uh, I don't think so. So, the thing is, oh, okay, oh, readers, oh, I thought that was a uh, disc I could pick up. That's save points. Oh. So I haven't gone any of those places. I don't think I can yet. I'll be coming back here later for sure. Because I haven't, I've been there, but I haven't been anywhere else. Uh, and uh, it is probably like a Metroidvania a little bit. Either Metroidvania or, see, like, I need to be, I need to go up there. 
see physiological excel that is an extra hit point right there but I don't think I can get that yet all right took a picture of all these bugs unless there's some way no what is this thing we got to drop down from above obviously but above it's right there it's not really accessible we'll definitely be back right page right there's no reason to go look around now, is there, Paige? Eh? Hmm. Hey, Lex. Uh, this is this was like the first dungeon. If I mean, you know, I played it for a couple hours yesterday. I think. <clears throat> is it an RPG? This is more like an action adventure. It doesn't have like leveling up or anything. It's it's an action adventure, straight up action adventure with characters and story you know it's it's like Zelda or something you know you fight bosses it's it's fantastic though hello Abby the characters are fucking great <clears throat> I haven't seen any gameplay footages of the PS2 Castlevania games well I probably will never play PS2 Castlevania games I think we're getting out of here for now. I think what we're going to do now is go take a picture of that dickhead that's on top of my house that I couldn't get before because I didn't have the zoom lens. Or the charismatic pig, perhaps. In a sci-fi world. You need to go to work. You skip two work days because of my stream. <laughs> Cat, not yet. You know him? He is missing mm, at the moment. Pedestrian district. I think we're gonna go home first. I got a picture I want to take. You are entering a hazardous zone. For your safety, please leave the area. Looks like we're gonna need a neutralizing cannon to take care of old tin bridges. Hmm. I mean, I can't go home yet. No cat, no work. Thank you for your cooperation. <laughs> I'm sure I'll be here soon. It's never gone for long. Can't go home. Or to the slaughterhouse race, or to Mamang Mamago. Guess we're going to Black Isle then. Or the factory. Hmm. Uh, objective okay so I need a cannon here oh from the garage but I can't go to the garage yet right mamago meet papers at the Akuta bar mm, right cuz mamago which is like some uh, Go away! Get away from me! It's some Jamaican rhinoceroses. You also take pictures of all the wildlife. And you get paid for them.
already got these fish. Ooh, Porky Page voice actor, also the voice of Rayman. Oh. Oh, can I go? No, this is to the city. Maybe I can, well, I can go through here. I think maybe I can get home this way. I just couldn't go that way. Oh, he's not gonna let me go over there. They even blocked off this passage. You used to be able to get to the factory direct from here. Hmm. Hi, Drake. Uh, I played that. Um, I'm getting that confused with one other one. Something of Rome, Shadow of Rome and Gladius. Which one did I like and which one did I not like? Let's find out. Did I? I guess I played these on PS2, didn't I? Shadow of Rome is in the green. Gladius is in the red. I like Shadow of Rome. Shadow of Rome was more of like a... Just an action-adventure game. A lot of fighting, a lot of brawling. Yeah, Gladius was the more... Co-op type game, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. New washing machine. I'm jealous. I gotta go to Mom's house to do laundry. And she wants to talk. I don't like talking. How's it going with your game? What am I gonna say? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm creating levels. I'm making tile sets. She doesn't have any idea what I'm talking. About. <laughs> She's like, "How's the game going?" I say one sentence, and then she changes the subject. <laughs> it's just like, okay. Yeah, they don't like Iris. They're blaming the alien invasions, the doms, on the iris, but that's the other way around. Oi! Alright, we're gonna... We're gonna... We're gonna... Make our way home real quick. Should be over here? Yeah, that's the kind of game it seemed, Jimmy. Mostly good, annoying boss fights. So old, I got you. Right, we're gonna go home first, and then we're gonna go to Mama Go. Mama Go? That lighthouse is my house. My mom really wants to talk. Uh, I ain't got nothing to talk about. But lately I take my laptop over there and uh, I work on the game while, while laundry's going. Going okay. It's usually my answer. Rocket. Hmm. 
This is my house, the lighthouse. I have a bunch of children in here. I don't think they're my children. I don't know whose children these are. Whose children are y'all? Ah, Zaza. Okay, Jade. Feeling better? Having fewer nightmares? A little fewer. Hang in there, Zaza. Maybe I run an orphanage or something. I don't know. This is how we protect ourselves from alien attacks. Shield activated. We don't need the shield right now. Shield disabled. I don't think anyway. It's my children. <laughs> I've got a lot of children. There's a lot of children. Stop listening to that shit. Okay, now. There's a creepy fucker on top of my lighthouse. I need to extend the shield to be able to see him. God damn it. Really? See, those things come out, yeah, and then I can stand on the edge, and there's some kind of being on the very top of the lighthouse that I need to take a picture of. <laughs> Goat child. <laughs> See? The fuck is that? What are you doing on my roof? It's a Pokemon. Oh. Kill it. Lutra Erecta. A two legged otter. Amazing. A two legged otter. It really is, Artie. This is one of those one-of-a-kind, special kind of games. I need like a, I need like a code here. I don't know what my code is. There's two spots where I need a code. Here, which is also a... Uh, there's like a secret thing. I, I clicked on the board and it slid, slid aside. I need two different codes. One in the workshop and one there. Can't play now, okay? God damn it. No, well, no. <laughs> That's my full uh full heal, by the way. Healing item that he's got there. Where does this little bastard go? Come here. Cut it out, Wolf. Give that back to me. Come back over here. <laughs> oh, okay. Huh. Got him. Flea bag. I give it back. Nice. I didn't take a picture of him yet. Superb specimen. I'll file it. All right, five more animals. I get another pearl. I think I 
that's all we need to do here, really. I don't know if this uses up the power. Oh yeah, that's green. That was green now. That was green, wasn't it? Now it's yellow. I have to pay the electric bill. I have a lot of money though, because I've been taking a lot of pictures and such. Alright, anything else going on in here? Already got all the snacks from the kitchen. The children must be starving. Hello, Pablo. You're not going to believe me, but I saw a wolf walking around with your camera in his mouth again. My camera? I swear. Is that a different one? Uh, that's a new. That's that's the same same old bug. Hello, El Grail. So this morning I was thinking to myself. This happens to me all the time, by the way. I was thinking yesterday there was a message in chat from Delicious Coffee and it said something about he might have a bad day at work. And it said something like, I might not get fired. I don't remember if I read the rest of the message. I remember seeing that. What, what probably happened is what always happens. And I, uh, I half read a message and I'm in mid sentence. And then I'm like, okay, as soon as I finish my sentence, I'm going to read the rest of that message and reply to it. <laughs> and, then, and then I finish my sentence. And I forget to read the rest of the message or reply to it. <clears throat> Did you get fired, Coffee? <laughs> Probably not. Probably would have said something. Hello, goat child. Ow, ow me. Can I take a picture? What about you? Blended picture. Well, wow. okay. The boss isn't happy with you. Why? Goat child. Alright, do we have any other animal children running around here? You don't look like an animal child. Homo sapiens! Perfect. I'll date and file it. Okay. I guess that's an animal. And what are you? Mm. I already took a picture of that thing. You can also, of course, take pictures and save them. Besides taking pictures of animals for money. Follow your dad? No. Actually, well, no, you cannot. Perhaps he too watches streams instead of working. <laughs> What's up, Swally? How you doing? <laughs> what is up? I think we're leaving now. I am your boyfriend now, Nancy. Hey, thank you, Rough Knight. What's up? How you doing? Appreciate the sub. <clears throat> I 
Thank you very much. Still waiting for Beyond Good and Evil 2? No, I haven't played this one yet. <laughs> this is the first time i played this one. But yeah, now that I'm playing this amazing game, uh, I'll be br I'll be holding my breath until uh, part two comes out. Rip Camel. What you think about the Iris Network? I don't think this is such a good idea. It's really dangerous. Paige, I don't understand you. We have to know the truth. Find out what's really going on, no? You know where to find this papers? Akuta Bar. Pedestrian District. We really need to get some cash into our account. You said it. You know, Ming Su sells all kinds of detectors at his store for animals, for pearls. Where is that? Where's Ming Su? Take me to Ming Su. Probably the pedestrian district, right? Man, it sucks when you got a bad boss, huh? Uh, you know why I'm why uh, I work so hard on my game I don't want to do it anymore I, I need to be my own boss Alright, the city, we can't get to the factory. We're going back to the city. But yeah, I think somebody said yesterday that Beyond Good and Evil 2 has now overtaken Duke Nukem Forever as the longest game in development hell. At over 15 years. Pedestrian district. The Iris Network. Huh? Our enemy, the dogs, have broken through. We really should have a look at the pedestrian district one of these days. That's where we're going. Oh, Jade. Sounds good to me. Getting a bit thirsty. When do I get me one of them flying cars? Oh, it's a walking part, not a not a driving part. Yep, it's those doms again. We're all in for it. Hi, Rob. Hey, Jay, still taking pictures? You know they got an animal detector for sale at Ming Zhu's. Ooh, we gonna get it. The precious pearl is the slave of the currents. Alpha section is looking for me. What? What are you? You're a statue. Oh. Are you all homo sapiens? Okay. I also used to work at IBM. It was a terrible job. War. What is it good for? I'm sure oh, oh, oh. How are you? Oh, this is like the key code word I need to say to the peepers or whatever. If you want to do business, you have to put your credit card in the decoder, please, to identify your account. Account identification. Okay. What kind of fucking animal are you? Or subscribe to a paper? Let's Fuck see. Birds. I could propose the Hillian word for Hillian word. The word for the informed citizen. The Hillian guide. Promotions, bargains, tips. All subscriptions are at fifty units per year. Yes. The Hillian guide. Okay, you're a member now. I'm a member. Woo! Hillian word. Fifty bucks, I'll do it. It's okay. You're registered. All right. Fantastic. Now, 
Okay, I'll take your picture. It's going very well. Good hunting. Nice. A bird boy. Homo erectus. <laughs> the fuck are you? Okay, take it off of that because I will accidentally press that button. Okay, I came from that way. So we got this way up here. There's the Akuta bar. That's where we're going. We need to find Ming Su as well. Yeah, yeah, we're going to the bar soon. Shut up. But first, we need to find Ming Su. Congratulations! You have chosen to subscribe to the Hillian Word for the informed citizen. Open your eye. The Dom strike yet once again two days ago in the West Quarter. Without the aid of the courageous Alpha sections, the toll would have been even higher. The recruiting campaign intensifies. <sighs> well, can I have that? Are you a rabbit or something? No, you're a human. A funny looking human. Hey, Nori. Get to put your card in the decoder. Identification. Okay. Black, shapey head. Take as much as you want. Pearls, 3,000. Definitely that. That's a, a heart piece. Sibyl, it's been digitalized. A full heart piece. Boom. Pearls, 3,000. Absolutely. Hand it over. I need one more, I think, for the part I need for my hovercraft to get past those douchebags. Can I get pe can oh, ah. to non residents Okay, that's what I thought. But I am a resident. You'll estimate me, Jade. If you don't give me some of those PA ones, I'll be a burden to you. Are you a fucking walrus or something? A walrus sapiens. Thanks again, Jade. One more for another pearl. Okay. Now it's time to get a drink. I need to go to Ming Su's though and buy the detectors. <sighs> yeah, they they do look like elves. Well, Taurus sapiens. Good work. Okay, your roll of film is finished. Uh -huh. Good. I'll transfer a pearl to you, Jade. As Zordon. And I'll recharge your film. I think now we have enough to buy what we need for our hovercraft. I think it costs five. Get out of here. I'm looking for peepers upstairs as usual. Oh, okay. Hey, Paige, you here to throw down a few? First one's on me. What? A job for me? I can keep a secret. Too old to do it, but you, I'm sure you could. A treasure, a fabulous treasure, hidden for hundreds of years in a crater of a volcano, just lying there, begging to be picked up off the ground. But shh. Mm. In a volcano, huh? What? Is that a shark? Bravo, Jade. Hello, Zoka. 
drink waters will make you take a break and find a cat. <laughs> Uh, maybe. Whoa. Oh, okay, there's another code thing. No, I want to play. Hey, Francis. Yes, tell me the rules. Sure, it's easy. You have to get rid of all the pallets that are on your side. Do so. You aim with the left stick and shoot with X. Word has it that you're the best. You better believe it. Nobody is stupid enough to bet against me. Bets? Also play just for the fun of it, but it's not as interesting. What do we bet? There's the game of 100 units, you pocket 200 if you win, and for 1,000 I put my lucky pearl up for grabs. Many have tried, but I've still got my lucky pearl. Shit. Training. Go! Game sucks. This could take a million fucking years. Even worse, yes. Frame sucks, I know. Well, I happen to be playing a good game, Zogun. Go! What the fuck? Oh my god, stop. There's no way in hell I'm getting this pearl. It's the future, Jimmy. Do it. I'm ready to lose all my money. Dude, come on, no! It was already so close! <laughs> Fuck! Dude, no fucking way I had it! Oh shit! <laughs> First try, baby! Fuck you, Leotu! My aim is awesome! Oh, round two, god damn it. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> well, not so great this fucking time. Stop! Come on! Don't do it to me! I need that pearl! Ah! A fine example of celebrating too early. Shut up! Whatever! It's 
just random which one it picks for me to fucking shoot. It's bullshit. Okay, you're the best. You're the best. One more. This is the last one. I'm not wasting all my goddamn money here. He's gonna let me win the first one. See? Get shit out of here! Go! Oh, balls. Come on. What am I supposed to do about that shit? Oh! <laughs> Give me that fucking pearl! Okay, you win this time. Who? I'm the best! Take that, doubters. Save. I could have save scummed, but I didn't, because I'm a champion. Fair and square. Whoo! Oh, thank you, thank you. It was easy. Hold on, that's peepers? What's this? Code. Code. Hmm, what about this? We got goat person. Are you drunk? Can I do anything for you? I don't think so, but maybe take this ticket for me, will you? What is it? The code for one of the Alpha Section's safe where they stock what they've stolen from the Hellions. You know where the safe is? In a shed, Fountain Square, on your right. All I wanted to do was feed my family. I never should have taken it. Before I could even use it, I found myself all alone. They took all of them away from me. You're not alone. Be brave. Bravo, Yid. Hmm. C4P8. Do I have that, like... I'm sure I have that somewhere, right? Do I need to write that down or what? This is ducking, this is running, that's attacking and talking, that's that. Do I not have it? This doesn't seem like the kind of game that wouldn't save that somewhere for you, you know? Like, oh, you didn't write it down, so you're screwed. I guess I better write it down until I know. Z4P8. This is an alpha section. Fountain square shed. What's up, Sparrow? All right, papers. It's papers time. You look like somebody named Peepers. A little girl in this dive. Mm, that this light odor. You graze pigs near the ocean. If you want to try your hand at a game of three coconut money? Oh God damn it! Swipe your card and just go to first. Okay. Identification. Okay. How much do you have to lose? I bet a hundred.
Got him. Okay. Safe and sound in its shell, the precious pearl is the slave of the currents. Are you interested in pearls? Place your bets. Hated this shit. Okay, uh. Can, can I. How do. Okay, here we go. W4J8. See that? I'm I'm seriously like This is not an era of video games where I need to write shit down. W four J eight, my favorite Star Wars bounty hunter. Could be. Alright, we are in the Iris Den. This is the resistance. Whoa, what the fuck are you? Felis Sapiens. Thanks again, Jade. You're welcome. Friends, allow me to introduce you to Jade, our new agent. I was hoping you'd make it. Come closer. This is May, editing and distribution of our newspaper, Iris. Nino, radio operator, transmissions, and tireless poster sticker. Hey. On these screens, you can see the majority of our correspondents. They operate all over the universe for more than 13 different systems. You already know Peepers. It was his idea to offer you the job. He knew you would complete the test successfully. <laughs> You'd have to be blind not to see it. The kid's bursting with talent. Now listen up, Jade. The events are gaining momentum. A Dom's bomb has exploded in the canal. Obviously, the Alpha sections have sealed off the sector. They've embarked everyone there. To take care of them, right? No hospital has received any victims, Jade. The governor of Hillis contacted us as soon as she heard the news. She's willing to help us, but her HQ is under surveillance. You could help us to save these people, Jade. Nino, give us a brief on the situation. Here's what we know. The victims are kidnapped by Alpha Section agents. They are then taken to the Neutrophils factory. Shuttles are then used to take them to the old slaughterhouses. And from there, they are loaded into military cruisers headed for the moon. We don't know what they're forced to suffer. None of our agents have ever returned from these cursed places. Four days ago, we lost contact with Double H in the Neutropils factory. He was our best agent. And friend. Double H was supposed to have brought back proof of the Dom's traffic. His last photos are terrifying. A spirit eater. We need someone to take over the mission, Jade. You can refuse. Continue. <laughs> we need proof. One, you get inside the Neutropils factory. Two, you take pictures of the Alpha sections and their victims. You'll be in constant contact with May. She'll broadcast your photos as quickly as she receives them. People must know the truth. Yeah, I'd like to know too. Like who's actually telling the truth in all of this? Here's an official city pass. We got it thanks to the governor. It will open certain doors for you. Good luck. Well, nice job, Yate. Hello, Trevo. Hello, Neo. We play Jane, good game today. M disc for you, if you want it. I put it over there. Everything is explained in detail. Unfortunately, well, we we probably will play some bad games soon. Actually, our main playthroughs right now are two good games: Beyond Good and Evil and Blue Dragon. But I'm probably gonna play some Game Boy Color games occasionally in the meantime because I, I love my analog pocket 
pearl and the currents. Hmm, okay. Can we trust the governor? She's already helped us a lot. She has a special team of decoding experts. If you're stuck in front of a lock, send her a photo of the serial number. Ooh, they can break any code you give them. Wow, you're the one that's in charge of distributing the newspaper parts. I'm in charge of printing and I deliver them to our various underground cellars. You get some copies? Sure, closest cell to here is in the square at Ming Su's. I'm going to Ming Su's, yes. So now I can go to Ming Su's. Also, uh, also I can open that shed with the code that I got. Was Double H able to give you some information about the factory? The last contact we had from him is on the M disk. Then nothing. Be careful, Jay. So the photos directly to you. Yes, if it installs a secure line for you, you'll be permanently online. All right. Let's check this out. Nice, Neo. I love the analog pocket. It's really the only one I needed. I, I'm okay with emulating. I'm not huge on Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Genesis, that sort of thing, but I am absolutely fascinated by Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance. And you know, Neo Geo Pocket Color, I think they're gonna be, we're gonna be able to play those, and Game Gear, yeah, all that stuff. The weird and obscure stuff, you know? My favorites are PS1, PS2 though, yeah. I don't think I've ever even seen a Neo Geo Pocket game, you know? The Alpha sections have deceived us. Since the beginning of the war, they have been controlled by the Doms and profit from the general chaos to kidnap innocent people. Uh-oh. Thanks to Double H, we now know where the victims are taken to on Hillis. One, the Neutropils factory. Two, the old slaughterhouse in the shuttles. Three, the moon in a cargo cruiser. We must put an end to this nightmare. Every proof we can find relating to this conspiracy will bring us more and more support from the people. A general uprising would allow us to overthrow the Alpha sections and save thousands of innocent lives. If the revolt spreads, we may be able to end this war. But we need photographic evidence to find out exactly what's going on at the factory. Photos of the victims. Photos of the Alpha sections without their helmets on to know who they really are. Mm -hmm. That's where you come in, Jade. You take over Double H's mission. Here's his last report. Ship's law, double H. 1923. I am in the Forbidden Zone. What does that remind me of in the background there? Like Mass Effect or something? 1930. That. I can see the shuttles coming and going from the upper platform. Sparrow's ready for nap, aka going to work. All right. I'm ready for a nap. I need to be awake for a few more hours, though, because tomorrow is Hell Divers with Sierra. 2003. I have succeeded in penetrating into the factory. 2050. I'm exhausted. I must have swam almost two miles. 2110. I'm inside. That's it. I can see the black cases. A noise. Hey, what the? Apparently, they've trained a reaper. The presence of this animal along with the sigma rays are the proof of the presence of a spirit eater. These are his last shots. We've had nothing else for the last four days. Radio silence. Double H was our best reporter. He's done a lot for us. Thanks to him, the Iris Network was able to get in contact with the governor of Hillis. Uh, I can say that the Fenrir is fucking amazing, Trevo. I have one in my Saturn. Definitely uh, would rather have that in my Saturn than the one, the whatever you call it in my Dreamcast. The Terra Onion mode, which is like twice as much. Uh, yeah, I got a Fenrir in the Saturn and I've got the Terra Onion mode. 
in the Dreamcast. They make a Terra Onion mode for Saturn as well, but you might as well just get the Fenrir. Works perfect. <clears throat> Yes, Trevo. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, that's what Terra Onion Mode and Fenrir, they're both the same thing, but Terra Onion Mode is way more expensive. Right, you can. Mm -hmm. But I didn't have a Dreamcast with a working a working disk drive. Now Cat is here. So somebody sent me a Dreamcast and when I tested it out it wouldn't read any discs, and then I bought a Dreamcast on eBay, and I received it, and it wouldn't read any discs. So I was like, fuck this, I'm just, you know, even if I get a Dreamcast that works, the disc, you know, the fucking disc drive probably won't work for very long, even if it does work. So I was like, fuck it, we'll just get a Terra Onion mode, we'll future-proof this thing. So yeah. He ain't getting no snacks. Nope. Yeah, on, on play, PS1 as well. I'm good with PS1 emulation, though. Rocket, what are you doing? He's interested in the noise-making Xbox 360 over here. How are you doing? Get that tail. <laughs> you better be good. I don't know what you're doing over there. Okay, good. 360 modded? No, there's no reason to. There's not very many games. And the games are cheap, you know. The governor is radically opposed to the alpha sections and their methods, but she must not be found out. Yeah, not many games I want to play on it, and the games are cheap. Yeah, exactly, Neo, right? I still don't have Tekken Tag 2. I still I need that one. I've got Tekken Tag 3 and 4 on uh well no, 5 Tekken Tag 4 and 5 on PS2 and I've got 6 on 360, but I don't have Tag 2. I still need that one. Tekken's the best. Tekken's my favorite. Tekken 3, best fighting game ever. But yeah, I'll get Tekken Tag 2 one of these days. It's not gonna go up in price or anything. By the way, new poll if you haven't voted on for the letter C yet. Tekken Dark Resurrection. What is that? The first and second game on PS1? Well, the third one on PS1 is where they really made it amazing. Tekken 5 expansion. Oh, okay. She's willing to help us if, on our side, we let the truth be known, and if more and more Hillians trust the Iris Network. Well, I do have a modded PS2, so I could do that on PS2, right? If you find a door like this one, photograph it and send the picture to the governor. Her team of experts will try to find the code. Got We're it. We're counting on you, Jade. Be careful. Han. All right.
Yeah, vote for good games. It, it's cool, though. Good games are winning. Like, everybody's voting for Symphony of the Night, Champions of Norath, and Chrono Cross, and I couldn't be happier. Stop voting for Catwoman! I'm glad Combat Queen's getting some love. That game is fucking terrible, and it's a nightmare, but it's also got lots of trashy FMV that I really want to see. Combat Queen is a weird one. <clears throat> Combat Queen is a PS2 game, a Japan exclusive. These are a bunch of like soft core porn actresses. This is not a porn game, but these are like gravure, gravure, whatever. Yeah, it's got all that. It's filled with just tons and tons of FMV, right? But the gameplay, it's a mixture of uh, sometimes it's a rail shooter or you're shooting bugs. And sometimes it's like, I don't know, Resident Evil, third person survival horror kind of sort of thing uh i've played it a good bit before but it's really hard and you can't skip the cutscenes. and there's instant death and like you know sometimes i just instant death and then it's like five minutes of cutscene. Like, literally just sit there for fucking five minutes waiting to get back to the part so I can die in two seconds. You know what I mean? It's just awful, but I, I just, I want to keep trying. You know, I just have to wait a few years between attempts because it's so fucking bad. Uh. Well, Coffee, we need to get a, we need to get a, a way to play PS1 Tekken 3 over the internet, and I will, I will teach you. AKA beat that ass in Tekken 3 all day long. All day, all day, any day. It's just. Uh, it's the only fighting game where it's like. Uh, it would be very, very difficult for anyone to beat me unless they're like a pro. You know, I'm decent at other fighting games, but Tekken 3 is my game. I've spent hundreds of hours, hundreds and hundreds of hours practicing. Hi, Lila. I'm doing great. How you doing? <clears throat> Zordon voted for Catwoman as well. Great. One of the worst video games ever. Yeah, full motion video as in, you know, some crappy, some shitty, you know those old games of shitty shitty video you know like uh the seventh guest right early cd-rom games that sort of thing android eh. the future is now old man <laughs> jade you uh, have to pick a code name to sign your articles with Ooh, a code name shawnee what johnny or shawnee what Unfortunately, coffee. If some if a noob does fight me in Tekken 3, it's not going to be fun for you. <laughs> don't ag don't agree to it. <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> don't even agree to that. You will not have a good time. Unless you like losing, I mean, maybe you do. In that case, I can help you out. Silver Surfer, Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hound. I mean, those are two, those are two mainstream. I need like Catwoman, Batman, Dark Tomorrow. Hey, Paige, you here to throw down a few? First one's on me. Ooh, really? Problems? 
Ooh, me? Nah, it's just old Moe's rock gut that's strong, but it, everything's fine. This other shark over there is gonna have some some problems. If it's just me, I don't know what he's up to, but it ain't kosher. Okay, maybe I wasn't exactly clear headed. I've definitely seen him doing something. He was all nervous. He was hiding something under his coat and he went up back there towards the closet up there. What? Oh. You? Hey, Rufus. Mm. What are you hiding? You got a guilty conscience? Listen, booger breath. My grandpappy could devour a family with eight kids in 17 seconds. My daddy could do it in 12 seconds. And I plan on being able to do it in less than 10 seconds. Wow. Hey, Seven. You said something, Rufus? Me? Not a thing. These people are rude. Um, I played Rise of the Dragon on, uh, before I started streaming. I love that game. I always intended to, like, do a showcase of that game. I'm not gonna do a blind playthrough of an adventure game. Fuck no, but I might, like, practice it and know everything about it. I only like streaming adventure games if I already know what to do at every moment, so... I may do that with uh, I've, I've been planning on doing that with Rise of the Dragon we I just haven't special yet key. special key I really feel like I should take notes every once in a while with this game I should start doing that I have a notebook right here Rocket, you're not gonna tear up this notebook, right? This is my notebook. We've already bent some of it. Amiga has loads of good RPG games. Really? Really? I don't know anything about Amiga. It'll be like setting the difficulty on hard. No, it'll be like setting the difficulty on ridiculous. <laughs> Trevo wants a good humble pie. We should have a Tekken 3 night. I'll take you all on. Just don't pick Eddie. If you pick Eddie, it doesn't count if you win. The problem with Rise of the Dragon is I don't know which version to play. Because there's the DOS version, there's the Sega CD version. They're very different. So, the Sega CD version has a green tint over the whole fucking game, right? But it's like, uncensored. The DOS version has does not have a green filter over the fucking thing, but it's like more censored, I think. I kind of just want to play both of them. The DOS version of Rise of the Dragon has... They both have like arcade action sections. DOS version, you can't skip them. They're difficult. I've done them before. Um, Sega CD, you can skip them after you fail them a few times. Something like that, yeah. Amiga Mini. I oh, don't know. <clears throat> Those aren't RPGs. Those are adventure games. I hate adventure games. I love Space Quest 3 and Loom. And, uh, I mean, there's a few that I played as a kid that I know everything about. And I like them, but I, uh, I can't stream adventure games. I'm too dumb. Okay, so in this notebook, we're going to write down, um, what do you call those places where you need to put in the code? I will type, I will write down need code. There's one in Lighthouse. 
There's one in page workshop. Uh, a CUDA bar. And then we will write down door need special key by a CUDA bar. And then I might not need to write that one in here because we're going there right now, I think. Okay. <clears throat> Ah, uh, the Beholder. Yeah, that's on DOS too, though. Yeah, I haven't played that one yet. I did play Dungeon Master, which came before Ah, uh, the Beholder. <laughs> but yeah, one of these days I will definitely play some Rise of the Dragon on stream. Hello, Dragoon. <clears throat> yep, I made another level in Tolio today. And tomorrow will be a playthrough of World 8. Or 7. World 7. Yeah. 7. Um, where is... I need to go to the main square. Can we go here? What is this? Oh, Alpha Sections und Headquarters, uh, und Quarters. Huh. Would you look? Can't even go where we want to. Thanks for nothing, Alpha Sections. Oh. Arachnus Veritas. Bravo, Jade. Tolio is not a fucking working title. It has a goddamn Steam page. What are you talking about? The game is called Tolio. Which is a great name. It sucks! <laughs> what would you call it? No D and D for me. All right, with a name like Zokun. <laughs> okay. So, what is this? Mm -hmm. Okay, this was the beginning. So yeah, we need to go through here. The Adventures of Blue Platypus. That's the worst fucking name I've ever heard in my life. Alright, we're going this way. Human. I don't even know what that says. Ming Su! Yeah, there we go. I'm not really a nerd, guys. Not really. Which is somewhat unfortunate because I can't identify with a lot of people on Twitch. I'm not bragging like, oh, I'm not a nerd. I I'm just, you know, it's kind of w bad that I'm not. I'm a, I'm an old school nerd. I'm a book reader, you know. Maybe I'm just old. Hello, frame. <laughs> you remember? Yeah, I, I, I don't. I've never played this before. Stuff shit in a locker. Exactly. 
Beyond good and evil, Outland from Dust. No, but here's the thing. The only proper widescreen HD version of this game is on the Xbox 360. Downloadable only. PC version, PS2, whatever. There are no... This is the only... This is the best version of the game. I think it's the, it's the only widescreen, as far as I remember. Old school minus school, that's right. Hey, that's right, Trevo, exactly. No physical copies, that's right. It's sad. I would definitely buy a physical copy of this version. Hello, Ming Su. I would like to buy something. Okay. Ooh. Mecha Impulsor. I believe that gives my hovercraft another uh, hit point. Well done, Yade. Yade. Okay, and this gives me another heart. Absa fucking lootly. Okay, I keep for you. Hell yeah. Animal detector. Give it. Perfecto. I've scanned it. A pearl for four grand. Pearl detector. I need that. Super attack strengthened. Okay, first of all, I need the pearl detector. Nice job. Now, man, I'm going to be poor. Paige, I'm, I'm tired of you, you don't give me some of those not having ones, some energy. There you I'll go. Eat that. You. Heal yourself. Heal yourself. Whatever. All right. Super attack strengthened. Ooh. Now there's a pearl for four thousand. I'm broke. But soon. Soon I will have money again. Yes, you can. Just, um, I assume it works on Xbox Series X or whatever, but I, I, you know, I bought it on the Xbox 360 store for 10 bucks, I believe. Leoto is a medical condition where a hemorrhoid starts growing its own hairs. Wow. Three sixty shop is still up. Hello, Retro Bear. Certainly can connect your 360 to the internet and buy stuff. Yep. You made fun of my name. <laughs> well, I guess you better punch him in the face. That's what I would do if he made fun of my name. Smack him. We need a special key. What do we call this place? I need to write down um, another by Ming Su's. The U server still works too? Nice. Okay. 
burning ring of fire. We need a special key. So there's two of them by, uh... By Ming Su's. Times two. <clears throat> <laughs> it's some sort of manure and another one. Another one, wow. How many heals do I have? I got one, two full heals and one, one heart heal. Because I just gave one to Paige. He's not even eating it. Ungrateful bastard. Alright, we're getting out of here now. Um... So we got a mission to go to the factory. We got okay. We got to go to Mama jo Mama Go and uh, install a cannon on my hovercraft. Yeah, that's what we're doing. Pure, unsaturated human hatred. That's what I'm talking about. Race, race. What do you mean, race? Is that the way towards the hovercraft race? Yep, we can go if you wanna. We can make us some big money. Oh, really? <laughs> We're ready for the third one. Big money, you say? I'm pretty poor. Can I use nitros? Hey, A pearl to the winner, and the next three qualify for the following race. Oh, shit. The whips, the weak, and the wusses still have three more seconds to get the hell out of here and back to your knitting. <laughs> Trace, dos, uno. Oh god. Whoa, cheating, I got nitros. Shit. How many laps is it? Three, probably? Get off me. Three laps. Oh, I could have gone, I could have taken a shortcut, huh? Possible. Get lapped. I'm terrible at racing. <laughs> I'm only good at rally racing games. Are we done? Okay. Champion! Yeah, Uncharted, whatever it was called. All right, we got some money now. Race number two. Boss Legacy, yeah. Practice racism to get better at it. Oh, okay. Alright, here we go. <clears throat> number one racist the right wits, here. The weak and the wusses still have three more seconds to get the hell out 
Test Drive Unlimited. Oh, I just like Colin McRae rally stuff like that. This seems a little bit harder. That nitro boost does not last very long. I gotta hit that shit. Come on, get out of the way. I'm in second. Hit that shit and oh. Thanks, Paige. Oh, those slow you down. Okay. Got it. Oh. Fuck you. Got him. Wait, I'm in second? Who the fuck is in front of me? How dare you? Oh, we come, we gonna get you. We gonna get you. <laughs> what now, motherfucker? <laughs> I'm in it. <laughs> This game is absolutely awesome, Jervo. It's like it's already one of my favorite games. Got paid. First prize. Oh, I was like, what the hell's going on? <laughs> okay. They're celebrating. All right, see you later. This is going to be one heck of a race. You ordered yourself a body pillow. Does it it better have an anime waifu on it? <laughs> We're ready for the Otherwise, I don't know what the fuck you're doing with your life. Race is 1 and 2. You would think so based on the title, huh? This is race one and two. I just, I beat both of those. Oh, okay, okay. Just both sides. Only top ten PS2, not top ten all-time all consoles. Alright, uh, home, pedestrian district, Black Isle. That's just race one and two, so I guess we can't really get to uh, the races yet. Yeah. All right. Ow, fucker! 
I need to go to Mama Goose. Mama Goose. No anime girls. Shit. <clears throat> Yeah, there. For the other races, I think all I gotta do is just buy like as many nitros as I can afford. If they'll let the game will let me buy infinite nitros, and then I can just like cheat the races. Big rigs, yeah, pretty sure that's true. Pretty tough when you're going against all the games. Yeah, yeah. Here we are at Mama Go's. Hi, Isa. Here Mama Go Garage. Shape and sound in its shell. Each cave has at least one pearl in it. Can I do a little shopping? Our mama only accepts pearls. I know it. I got five or so. Yep, I need this. Neutralizing cannon. What is that thing? Hold on. Account identification. Okay. That's boost. The repair uh, Starkos rest the repair a uh, boost capsule temporarily triples your maximum speed. I need that. The repair pod restores one wrench of your vehicle's energy. And I need this. But also, jump kit. Flight stabilizer. And finally, space engine. Holy shit. Oh, I wanna buy this too. Okay. More nitro. Temporarily a set of pods completely restored. A set of a set of pods completely restores your vehicle. Three hundred. A mecha impulsor increases your vehicle's energy gauge by one wrench. I gotta get it. It's a permanent plus one health. Spend spend all the money. Good work. A box of K-Bups completely restores your energy. Gotta spend that money. Well done, Yeet. Well done, lock on as many as three targets. Release to fire. Oh, shit. Sold. Ah, uh -huh, you won't regret it, Jade. The Mama Gold Boys are full of good advice. Babuka, Babuka. This is the password for the iris resistance. I shouldn't say that to everybody I meet, but I have been. See you later. They even got like the Jamaican flag colors. Isn't that Jamaican flag colors? That's South Africa's colors. You mean the Nietzsche? I've read it. Oops. I've been listening to a... Uh, I've been listening to philosophy stuff on YouTube a lot lately. There's the Nietzsche podcast, which is just like... He's got like 70 episodes of him talking about Nietzsche related stuff. Nietzsche stuff, Nietzsche related stuff. Who 
is who is shooting at me? Where am I trying to go? What is going on? Shooting somebody. We're shooting money out of the ocean. Yeah, I guess that was the attack. It's over now, huh? Mama goes. All right. <clears throat> I've been reading a lot of philosophy the past few years. Starting with like Socrates and Aristotle and Epictetus and Marcus Aurelius and Nietzsche and just all that stuff. <clears throat> and listening to talks about it as well. I need that in my life. So where is my save point in here? Pretty sure there's one in the workshop. Is there one in my house too? I could look at the, uh, the map. There's not one here. Oh, this. Yeah, that's in the workshop. Just in the workshop. No save in the house. Okay. J.K. Rowling. <laughs> I'm not 12. Yeah, Epic Tatas. Epic Tetis was actually incredible. It's the best philosophy I've read. Epic Tetis. Right? Wait. Hold on. Which one? I might be getting it mixed up. Hold on. I am getting them mixed up. <clears throat> uh, Epic Tetis is decent. It's uh, it's stoicism, you know, like Marcus Aurelius and whatever. It's decent, uh, but the best I've read is not Epic Tatas. It's Bothius, the Constellation of Philosophy. I also read Rene Descartes, which was pretty fucking stupid. Descartes is the guy who said, I think, therefore I am. And that was a pretty good contribution. But... Rene Descartes, I think, therefore I am. This guy, this motherfucker, 
his ultimate philosophy was God exists because I am able to imagine God. That's proof that God exists. I can imagine it, therefore it exists. Which is the dumbest shit I've ever fucking heard. Both of you stuff. Hello, Goofy. Both of both of the, both of these nuts. This book was written. Okay, so this guy was like a like a Roman senator or whatever. He had kids. He had money. He had a career. He had everything, right? And then uh, bad shit happens to him. He gets thrown into prison and set up for execution. Right? He lost everything. He wrote this book from his jail cell before he gets executed. Alright? If anyone knows about how to be happy in the worst possible fucking situation, it's this guy. This book is amazing. Balthius. Best philosophy I've read. <laughs> What about being able to not imagine God, right? Maybe he doesn't exist then. <laughs> right, I can imagine cat girl wife who's all the fucking time and still don't see him. Oh, that's right. It's, it's, it's just it's fucking weird. I think Descartes was insane a bit. I'm pretty sure he was insane. He started off so good, though. He's like, he's like, he's trying to figure out what, what actually are, what actually am I, right? And he's like, well, everything like that's that I'm getting from my senses could be false. He's saying we're gonna, we're gonna. We're going to take everything down to the most fundamental level, right? And if there is possible doubt, we're going to rule that out, right? So what am I? Well, you're not a body because you could be in the fucking matrix. There is doubt as to whether the physical world actually exists. It could all be an illusion because all everything that we experience is through our senses, right? And that those can be deceived. Your senses can be deceived. You can go to sleep and dream, and you think that dream exists while you're dreaming. Okay, so according to logic, it's like it it can be a dream, right? Everything could be an illusion. It's possible. Not saying it is. He's just that's just this is just Descartes' process as he goes through this process of like this. This, you know, there is actual, there, it's possible that this is all an illusion, right? So, he, he narrows it down to, I am a thinking thing, and I know I exist because I'm thinking. And that's, that's the fundamental, the lowest level that he could reach, is I think, therefore I exist. Yeah, this, this was his book. Yeah, this is this is what he went through in his book. He he like went camping and he's sitting by a, a campfire and trying to figure all this shit out in his book. Other than that, the book sucked though. It was pretty fucking stupid. He goes into some ridiculous ideas based on this. <clears throat> right, Coffee? It has it has so many issues, you know, so many problems with his, his ideas. I think we are going to, um, we're going to switch to another game for a little while. I think we're going to continue this tomorrow, but for now.